It's Sunday morning. Uh, what is it? August, August 26, 2018. It's 10:15 a.m. I'm about like eight cups of coffee in. First, first bush light. Oh yeah, I'm John. I guess I'm Ross. And we have Micah. My, Micah, and I'm two sausage egg McMuffins in because it's still breakfast time at McDonald's. I'm too poor for all the above. <laughs> it's two for four, man. Two for four. I don't even have four dollars. <laughs> oh, come on. True yeah. story. I was there. Yeah. You're telling me you got to jack off the dog to feed the cat these days? Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard that in my life. Did you just come up with that? That's pretty damn poor. <laughs> Did you just make that up? And I know. Well, No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was like, good. <laughs> I was like, that's pretty. Uh, I've never heard that. Remember, remember, I come from a long line of bullshitters, and you gotta be quick-witted these days. So the ladies are into wit; they're not into money and looks. They're into wit. Really? I'm into money and looks. <laughs> too bad. My, too bad. My, too bad. My name wasn't wit, then they'd be into me. <laughs> <laughs> What was that thing you, uh, the, uh, the, the slogan you said this morning, or when we first got on? Uh, Happy McFack Fuck Sunday? <laughs> no. Something about the Born Stupid show. Oh, rise and shine. It's Born Stupid time. Yeah. Like the <laughs> big box letters. It is too early for this. I told you you should have started off with that. That would have been way better than how I started it. Well, hell, I couldn't remember it. I didn't either. It just dawned on me. Yeah, we've already That's talked about it. Like, Ten topics already. Yeah, like this is probably the first show ever that uh, there hasn't been a bunch of beers consumed before starting. Yep, this is my first one. I'm lucky I'm even here. <laughs> it's too early. Yeah, I didn't even do anything I last night. I was just tired. <laughs> Take a mix a little orange juice in your beer, John. Have a <laughs> beer mosa. That's not a bad idea if I had orange juice. Bush mosa. <laughs> like I said, I've already drank a bunch of coffee. Kind of isn't that like cold. the, isn't that like the adult thing to do is like mix liquor and shit with your orange juice in the morning? Yeah, that's what fancy ass white people do. Yeah, like they make momosas. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> momosas. <laughs> make momosas. Uh, Shim sh Shimonas. <laughs> Shimonas. <laughs> and then they got screwdrivers. But that's with vodka. That's the only one John owns. Yep, well, no, sometimes I get the deep eddies. I like deep eddies, too. Uh, yeah, that's that a good, good one. Stuff. I did see uh, John McCain died just recently. He did, in 81. Yep, and they had a story of him and Hillary Clinton, and they were, they were, I guess, at a bar. Getting or it on? No, they, <laughs> were, nasty. They, were, they were at a bar, <laughs> and I, supposedly they was like a, they were competing, but basically they both took three shots in a row of vodka each, and they both called it truce or whatever, but... I, th I think she might have beat him, they said, like finishing all three first. But they both agreed that the. That, that makes respect. sense. Hillary's. That makes sense. Hillary's a bigger man than most people. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I thought that was a pretty interesting story, though. I was like, oh, okay, these guys are getting getting pretty fucked up at a bar, and they're supposed to be, like, rivals. How, how do you think all of our political battles get solved? Drinking. Same way ours do. Just go to the bar and hash it out, man. <laughs> Because the truth always comes out when you're drinking, and that's yeah. about what happens. That is true. Yeah. <laughs> they had a mutual respect after that, I guess. He was like, oh, she can handle her, her, her drinks. I wonder where Bill was at when this was going on. Probably hanging out with Monica somewhere. <laughs> it's probably around the same time frame. Yeah, I thought that was pretty probably interesting. Getting a, probably getting a saxophone playing on him. He's probably at a jazz bar somewhere. Fine-tuning the sax. Yeah. Playing the jazz flute, <laughs> the J silent. Yeah, silent. Yeah, we we're talking Kinda like yawn. Yawny, I'm yawny. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I'm yawning. <laughs> yeah, yawny. Oh man. But, uh, how about that was pretty sweet new headsets. So like fucking John Madden and Chris Collins were sitting <laughs> in front of me. <laughs> 
Yes, he steps back. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> We're slowly but surely upgrading. Yeah. This is yes. pretty badass. Yes. I mean, like I told him, I feel like I'm about to call an ESPN game. <laughs> Dude, it's amazing. Like, you got two hands now, and you got your arms folded. I figured you'd be double fisting beers the whole time. I would. It was later in the day. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I, well, I mean, I'm, I'm drinking right now. I got a fantasy draft at one, so I figured I'd be about five or six beers. And I don't feel like going no, home at 11 o'clock and laying on the couch the rest of the day because I'm drunk. We can go point. with me. You give me, uh, you give me my draft. Uh, <laughs> your advisor, yeah. your GM. <laughs> like, what, 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 you brought this motherfucker in. You so, uh, that's conspiring against people. It he can be your thing. draft consultant. Yep. Yeah, and look ahead in future rounds and. Like, John, you picked enough Steeler players you. already. Time yeah, well, that's on. that's the kind of shit I need. I need someone to like, hey, Homer, Homer. Like, you oh, should not oh, have picked Jesse James as a tight end in the second round. <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to pick him because he can't hold on to the ball. <laughs> if Ross was your consultant, your whole team would be Steelers and Patriots because he wants all Patriots players and you want all Steelers but players. That's, probably a pretty solid yeah, team. Yeah, so say Patriots say usually tend to be pretty good. <laughs> I could probably pick up Tom Brady pretty late. Um, Gronk will go in the first few rounds. I don't need Gronk, though. He's injury prone. Everybody needs Gronk. He didn't get hurt last year. Yeah, but he didn't have a season like he did a couple he years a good, ago. Though. He had a good year last year. If anything, I could feel like I can get a, a decent tight end late, though. You know what's <laughs> funny? You're talking about fantasy drafts. I thought that for like two weeks that your brother Ross is mm -hmm. his league. I thought it was today. No, it's uh, next Saturday or next Sunday. Uh, that's yeah. what I seen like Got last night because I'm like, oh shit, I wonder what time I need to be ready for that. So. Yeah, John's is at eleven. Three, 10, next week. 10 or 11. Yep. And then Jesse's right after it at uh, B-Dubs. Yep. And then South is at 3. Hey, uh, we're going to do we're gonna do a show for for the yeah. fantasy draft for whoever shows up. Sundays. I mean, I think your dad's your dad's probably going to auto pick. I haven't got a hold of Jake or Berto, so they might auto pick yeah. my dad. I, don't, my I, dad doubt I, would, I doubt him. they would come all the way over here. At yeah, they probably wouldn't come over, but still. I tell you, my dad's got barbecue competition, so. Yeah, I just hope it, I just hope everybody's not auto picking, because then it'll be all right. Well, we're just having a show during this, and oh, the best best available player is gone again. Yeah, right. auto picks. Yeah. That would be an interesting year, though, if everybody had an auto pick and you're stuck with the computer bullshit, and then you had to manage your team all year. That would be pretty. Like interesting. if it came, it's locked, like if it like, came down. Yeah, like if it came down that a lot of people were going to miss it for some reason, there's only like two or three of us drafting. Yeah, it'd be kind of interesting. Teams locked all year, year and oh, you got five mm -hmm. running backs. That's on you. Oh, you picked Sebastian Janikowski in the second round. Yeah, that's that funny. really happens to somebody, and it was not an auto pick. You picked Jason Witten first round, Sebastian Janikowski. Yeah. It was Scott. <laughs> hey man. I mean, I got Jason pick? Witten the first round. First round, uh, like that's not a good pick. <laughs> Couldn't believe he's first one off the board. And first year I ever played, I didn't know. Sh first year I played, I didn't know shit about fantasy football. You know who my number one pick was? Eli fucking Manning. <laughs> Terrible. My first year. Yeah. That was a Super Bowl. You're right. He might have been better then. Yeah, he was <laughs> not bad. My first ever fantasy football, I played on NFL.com. I was just in a random league. I had Dante Culpepper as my quarterback, and I lost in the championship game. My first time ever. And then I ended up getting a, a free Super Bowl program yeah. in the mail as That's my cool. uh, prize. And luckily, the Patriots cool. won the Super Bowl out here. My dad got me into fantasy football when I was in middle school or something, and he, he got into it online. I want to say it was like um, maybe a Whitlock thing or whatever. I don't know. Someone that maybe worked there. And uh, – so he helped me like manage. So when we did the draft, we sat down and he's like, "What do you think about this? What do you think about that?" And then during the season, he wouldn't manage it, and I'm like up updating the team and stuff like that. And he's like, "What are you doing?" And I'm like, "Well, you're not managing this guy's attention. on a bye. Yeah, he's on a bye week, and this." And then eventually, like two seasons after or one season after that, I got my own team. I started in '03 is when I did my first one. Yeah, I was super young. But yeah, you see Post Malone on yeah. my side. That's what I heard. Yeah. Oh, I'm a little confused, though. You said his tires blew out in the air. I just want to know how the fuck that happened. I'm pretty Think sure that's... Take off. I'm pretty sure that's what they said. It was it, he, His tires on the plane blew out. If I can find the article. The hell he have on that thing? Firestones off a of 94 Explorer? <laughs> <laughs> was he on there with his brothers like it's Jonas Jonas? I don't know. <laughs> T 
two blown two blown tires. They were That's gonna be his next. They were gonna be his next hit song. <laughs> two blown tires in Mass. Yeah. They had emergency landing in Massachusetts. Yeah, he almost died though. We almost had a post. Post him alone. He almost, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're trying to get him to go to Micah's uh, Dirty Thirty. It's not gonna happen. Hey, what do you think there, it would take there's... to get him to get there though? That Waffle House truck. <laughs> that, that one yep. I can mark that one off. <laughs> yeah. oh, I didn't even know it was on your list. <laughs> the fucking mobile Waffle House truck, the food truck. Dude, that'd be awesome, man. Get everything smothered and covered. Hell yeah! Like, yeah, like I said yesterday, you were like, "Well, there's gonna be full barbecue there. That's cool. I'll get my ribs smothered and covered." <laughs> <laughs> Nothing better than some chili chunks on there. Oh man. <laughs> mm, some cheese. Got cheese on it. Yeah, that would be pretty yeah, badass if you got the Waffle House truck to come over there. Hell yeah. Did you guys see uh, Dairy Queen has a new pumpkin pie blizzard? Yay! I didn't. I didn't, but I did get their Reese's peanut butter cup blizzard get a couple just the other night. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ross is going yeah. in for some beer. Hey, donuts. Yeah, grab some donuts if you want some donuts. But yeah. Breakfast champions, beer and donuts, man, and Waffle House. Yep. Well, we don't have it, Waffle it House. Big... I'm fasting right now, so it's just beer and coffee right now. Beer is probably working against your fasting. Yeah, that's probably true. Yeah, I'm not fasting anymore because of the beer. But I'm still not eating. Low calories. You know it. It's Bud Light, our bush light. Bush Speaking light. of the, the pumpkin spice, I got fan mail last week regarding yeah, the I'm pumpkin ready to spice. Fight, bitch. The text I got was, doo, 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 was doo, it doo. fan mail or hate mail? Both. <laughs> <laughs> what Publix does Micah shop at? I will go and buy all the pumpkin spice creamers so he can't have any. <laughs> I, I, I take that as a direct threat. <laughs> <laughs> well, how are you gonna how are you gonna counteract this? Like, I mean, they're gonna buy it all up well, if you, before you get here. Well, first off. Ross's source remains anonymous. All he'll tell me is it's Tom it's Callahan. A guy. It's Tom Callahan. Oh, okay. <laughs> tell him if he wants to have an arm wrestling match in the middle of the produce aisle, I'm down. <laughs> I told him I was like, "It's the '98 Publix." He's like, "Consider it done." <laughs> <laughs> you kidding? Yeah. Fuck. Put it down. We're gonna take. We're gonna put our elbows over there and like the pile of bananas or the cucumbers. <laughs> and the first one, first one to touch the produce is out. First one to touch the cucumber is I gay. I can't wait to go. I can't wait to go into public shopping and Mike has got a tent out in front of it. No, <laughs> wait he, for the next. Order. Yeah, it's like it's Black Friday, but he finally goes in there. He's like, "Where's all the pumpkin spice uh, creamer?" Well, sorry, sir. Someone pre-ordered all the pumpkins, or someone pre-ordered all the pumpkin spice that we usually get in. So even though we're getting it in, it's already paid for and bought. Son of a bitch! <laughs> I'm gonna go to Lowe's and steal one of them flatbed little push dollies, and I'm gonna pull up in the Publix and park right next to the damn pumpkin spice aisle. <laughs> and as soon as they bring them out, I'm just gonna load up. No, I just park right next to the more. truck, the delivery truck, and as they're as they're unloading the delivery yeah. truck, just put the pumpkin spice right here. Already paid for it. Yeah, that looks shady as shit, getting stuff right <laughs> off the truck. Getting a good deal, guys, getting the back door deal here. Good. Nothing to look at, keep on moving. Is this, does that mean Brittany pooped herself? With all the poop emojis? I think so. I think that's what the kids are doing these days. Poop emoji. She has the hardest thing to do is not, not burst out laughing in front of all the other moms. But it's the poop emoji, so the question for her is... Did she shit her pants? She was laughing so hard. Or, uh, you know, because there's why would yeah, you put a bunch of that's it. why would you put a bunch of poop on that? Days. Well, my question is, why is she laughing so damn hard? It's not like our podcast is really all that funny. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not knocking us. <laughs> Jesus I'm like, Christ, dude! You're <laughs> I'm like, we're not. It's not like we're fucking. Uh, I think I'm pretty funny. Kevin Hart or something of like three Kevin Hearts or. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she might need to reevaluate her life and see what <laughs> what she finds. Poop. What? I, I, yes, what we what we do talk about sometimes is funny, but I've never listened or heard us speak about something so funny that I almost shit myself. Well, <laughs> well, she is getting older, so their bowels get looser and all that. That's true. <laughs> anal seep. Yeah, they, they, they old of. people piss and shit themselves from time to time. <laughs> 
She likes us, Ross, and we were just shitting all over her. God damn. Hey, it's very possible she ate the wings at the bowling alley. Oh, yeah. I could. I, that would make sense to me. You're lucky hey. she wasn't here. She would have mm. shit on your house. <laughs> mm. Adobe said, I want a camel toe. I mean, oh, cameo. Cameo, yeah. <laughs> These are all people that haven't listened to our podcast before and want to be on it. <laughs> That's good stuff, though. I can't give him a Camaro. That's too expensive. No, you can't do that. He would bring a little diversity to our show. Yeah. DJ. Oh, yeah? Yeah. A little flavor? Yeah. He's an African-American fella. Every time he uh, sees me, he tells me he's going to fucking kill me or something. <laughs> that's, well, that's not nice. I yeah, saw so him at uh, the Circle K a few weeks ago. You know, uh, the one at 98 where they have all the parking spots and they have that corner one where it's like that little striped area. It's not a parking spot. Well, the spots are taken, so I parked right there. I walk out of the store, and I hear someone, you fucking park that piece of shit there again, I'm going to fucking shoot you. And I look over, and it's fucking DJ. <laughs> he yelled that shit in a fucking circle K park. I'm going to fucking shoot you. I'm like, God damn. Calm down. <laughs> calm down. Good old DJ. Did you guys see a hundred million dogs and cats are overweight? Which can cause a lot of serious problems for your animals. Well, I believe because a hundred million uh, uh, pet owners are overweight, including myself. Well, the thing is, I don't see. I mean, unless you're feeding your dog all day and they just have unlimited food and they just stuff their face all day, I don't see how your dog get overweight. A lot of it's when they get uh, fixed. Well, and take them on a walk, goddamn! Like, or at least play s- with them. I can, Some people don't I can see do, how cats don't even let their dogs I can out. See how cats would be overweight? Yeah, because they eat all day, like the little feeder. Oh, the cat, yeah. The cat. Yeah, you just put the little feeder out, and they tend to take care of themselves. And some of them, like I had a cat, some bitch would not leave. It would lay down in front of the feeder yep. and just eat as it would come out until it just blew up one day. And if my dogs weren't food aggressive, if they wouldn't freaking kill each other over the food, I'd have one of those for the dogs too, the little feeder. Yeah, yeah. they just I mean, but they're going to eat if it's available all day. They're going to eat oh, yeah. all day, and they're not going to have that available in the wild. That's why they're overweight. My they cats are assholes. If there isn't fucking, if that feeder's not full, they'll knock that bitch off the table. As soon as that fucker gets empty, they fucking knock it off the table. <laughs> and it's like 30 pieces on the floor. I have to put that shit back together. Y'all want some of that? Let me see. What is it? Hey. Can you see? Oh, that's not bad. Look at that ass. Oh, come on. I, can't, I, mean, is, I mean, it's a little blurry and a little pixelated, but... Uh... No, that was gristle that you saw. Oh, that was gristle. That, was, uh, yeah. <laughs> that wasn't pixelation. Oh, that was uh, that was a lot of cellulite. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I've seen less cottage cheese in the dairy section. <laughs> I was like, I can't. I mean, for my hair, I'm already. I get the fucking beer. Look at the side of the fucking moon with all the craters. <laughs> I thought it was just the pix- <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ! I thought that was just streaming. <laughs> Mike's cell phone is a fucking Hubble telescope. So there's this tweet that I saw, and it says, My my wife bought off-brand Pop-Tarts. And sometimes I think she's acting out on purpose. I don't know why she's trying to drive me away, but I'm not going to budge. I love her through this. This is the raw and often ugly side of marriage people don't want to talk about. Pop-Tarts response. Sometimes marriages aren't worth saving. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I'm a huge Pop Tart fan, and I agree. I, eat po- I, I mean, I'll give the store brand Pop Tarts too. Some of them, like, it, it depends on. Some of them don't have as much icing on them, but it depends on what flavor you purchase. Like, whoever buys the fucking plain Pop Tarts with no goddamn icing on them? Have you ever they seen those? At least- Cinnamon ice. I didn't know they made yeah. those. Yeah, I've yes. never had the plain. If you, no next time we go, food. you'll see that they have Pop Tarts with no icing on them. They just added those people to the terrorist watch list. Yeah. <laughs> 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 fucking Nazis, man. Yeah, who the fuck does that? Who buys those fucking things? Nobody wants that shit. And yeah, there's yeah. the same price for the ones with the frosting. Nope. I don't I mean I don't eat Pop Tarts anyway. Well, I, mean, I haven't I, eaten them in a while. If I do, if I'm gonna eat a Pop Tart, it's Pop Tarts, but Chocolate, uh, the Oreo Pop Tarts are the best. The s'mores. Yes. Yeah, s'mores are pretty good. Cinnamon yeah. ones are good. Yeah, yeah cinnamon ones are good. good. Yeah, I mean, Pop Tarts are good. Yes. I like them. Yeah. I thought that was hilarious. And that's the reason why I go get them, because they're savage. Cause it's they're like troll. Wendy's. I will eat Wendy's over McDonald's all day. I can't remember the last time I, I went to Wendy's. I, I go to Wendy's because it's convenient for me. It's on, like, it's right there. Um, 
by five guys and all yeah. that stuff. It's on the way home a lot. Just nice. Very nice. Justin Verlander tweeted, uh, did you see his uh, hotel, nope. hotel hotel bill? It's a lot of money. But basically, he uh, pay for it. He had he had one charge for. He bought the naughty movie. Nope. One million dollars. Jesus. Dodger killer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it must have been in L.A. Yeah. <laughs> they charged him a million dollars because he beat him. They said a Beverly Hills hotel really making me pay for that World Series win. Thanks for the great <laughs> lunch as always. But. He paid for a salad, and it, the salad was forty-two dollars. Jesus. One pancake, thirty dollars. Jesus. One. Jesus. Two <laughs> e- <laughs> yeah. Two eggs, any style with meat, twenty-eight dollars. Two damn. eggs for twenty-eight dollars. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, another salad, forty-two dollars. Then the dollar, the Dodger Killer, one million dollars. Green Ivy, twenty bucks. One cranberry juice, ten bucks, and a latte for nine. It's like salt in the wound for me being poor. Dude. I can't even buy a fucking McDouble. He just laughed it off, though. I, I mean, he might even wrote him a check. Nah. I don't think he did. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny, though. How much money would it take for us to retire right now? A yeah, dollar more li- than what I'm making now, or what I'm No, what to I live the rest, of, the rest of our lives. I thought we already had this conversation. I don't remember. I just saw an article. I remember, I remember talking about, like, Mexico and all that stuff. Yeah, well, we probably did. <laughs> did, you guys, uh, did you guys see a drug tunnel that was found under KFC? <laughs> sure, it's a drug tunnel? Really? Yeah, it was a drug tunnel. Uh, there, uh, well, at least that's what they say. You sure it wasn't a chicken pipeline? Yeah, no, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Someone smuggling you know, some fucking s- quarter thighs and shit out of there. Yeah, I think it was in uh, California and it went to Mexico. It, they must not have KFC in Mexico. It was a, a le- it was a legit tunnel though. I mean, they were smuggling a lot of KFC. Figured I'd bring that up. Think I know KFC we didn't talk about open? that. Nope. But there is a travel warning for U.S. citizens to go to Mexico. I guess there's uh, they found some dead bodies. Yeah, apparently people. all the uh, all the like the tourist uh, spots have had like high murder rates. Yep, not going to Mexico anytime soon. Eight you bodies. You know what's good about that? Two dismembered. I'll never bags. go there. Yeah, well, no. Like what's really good about it is we were all talking about planning a cruise. We could probably get one really cheap to Mexico right now. I Save some money. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm not going. <laughs> no. Don't think I want to go to Mexico. Not right now. I, I went mean, there twice and uh, I didn't die. Honey, you think KFC is still open? <laughs> <laughs> Take that tunnel. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I want to go there. But they found him in taxi cab, I think. He's still open? Still open? <laughs> what the hell? Think KFC's still open? It, it might be this early in the morning. I don't have money to go there anyway. We've already discussed that. It's true. If I could have thrown you a sausage biscuit through the phone, I would have <laughs> That would have been funny as shit. Before. You see a fucking sausage biscuit <laughs> bounce off his phone? Bam! <laughs> the KFC Damn, it bowl it sounds work. pretty good, though. If you had a KFC bowl right now, I'd eat it. I haven't had them in a while. Those are pretty decent. It's they got a five dollar Philip. That's pretty good too. Yeah. Cheap. Five dollar Philip. I know where I'm going now when I get paid on Thursday. I'm going to KFC. Going to fucking KFC. Two chicken tenders, <laughs> biscuits and gravy. I'm gonna get that double down thing. How much would it take for you guys to clean up human shit? Not a dollar. Oh, that's Micah. How well, much did it cost you to clean up the side of John's house? <laughs> um, it cost me my dignity. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I don't know if you can put a price tag on my dignity. It's one it's of those priceless. barstool posts. They said, would you clean human shit off the streets for 185 a year? 185000 Yep. You're goddamn right I would. Yeah. <laughs> goddamn. Oh, they went from nope, 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 <laughs> 185 Yeah, I'll do that. I'll clean shit Fuck, up. Fuck, sign me up. Yeah. I, I won't even wear gloves. Yeah. I don't give a shit. They're basically uh, called what, uh, poop patrollers. <laughs> and they make a, a 71 thousand a year and then it benefits with the new uh mandated laws to 184 god damn and i want to say it was in like san francisco well it also costs a fucking fortune to live over there yeah but 
I guess the homeless they community do. is so bad over there that they have to have they're putting porta potties all over the place, like the urinals. Yeah, kind of like yeah, kind of like they're putting the urinals on the street. We talked about yeah, last Paris. week in Paris. One eighty five. They just need to put a pooper. They need to put a pooper right in the middle of ninety eight, right in the median. If they had the cost of living, pull up the red light. If, taking his shit by the no U turn sign. If we had the cost of live, same cost of living we do here. Sign yeah, me up. I can do that. What do you do? I pick up shit. What's up? Yeah. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I, th- I pick up hobo shit. Yep. And then I threaten well, them. I threaten them if they shit again. I'm gonna beat the fuck yeah, out of them. You motherfucker! I get paid the same if I pick up shit or if I don't pick up shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm poop patrol, motherfucker. <laughs> you take a shit. I'm gonna beat the fuck out of you. <laughs> I'm walking around threatening all the homeless fuckers. Like, there's a porta potty right over there. You shit in the street. I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> I will fucking choke. <laughs> I can't imagine it'd be a whole lot different than scooping up dog shit. No. Yeah. Or I, I mean, don't want to pick up shit, man. You, but. You, you get a little pooper scooper and get a little broom, just a little, maybe even a flat-headed shovel would work good. I'd scoop it and throw it over in the bushes. And A, I would either, A, let it sit there a little while and let it get, let it solidify before I touch it. Oh, you or definitely B, don't want to, you want to let it dry. Let it dry. Or let it rain, let it rain, and yeah, the rain will uh, sort of wash it away. I'm only picking up the solid shit. <laughs> <laughs> liquid shit's going to sit I'm just going to flick it in the grass. <laughs> <laughs> liquid, like you said, liquid shit's going to have to dry up. Yep. And then we're getting the pressure washer. I'm not. I'm not touching that shit. As I say, I wonder if that job requires you to kind of get down and scrub the concrete to get the stain off. You gotta do what you gotta do. Pressure washer solves that shit though. Pressure washer some bleach. I'm not picking up the liquid shit. Ain't happening. I wonder if this conversation is gonna make Brittany shit herself in front of all the other ladies, <laughs> all the other moms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Hundred eighty something thousand dollars to clean up shit. Yep. I'm in the wrong Man. industry. No shit, I'm doing something wrong. Yeah. I'm working too hard. But speaking of shit, uh, I guess there's a sewage spill that was leaked out into Lake Parker just recently. And uh, they're mm-hmm. in the process of cleaning it. So I wouldn't fish or do any swimming in Lake Parker. Not that you should go swimming. Well, yeah, but I say, so between uh, the nasty-ass water that's already there because of the power plant, now yep. there's sh- shit yep. floating there's, around? There's some, cool. There was a sewage leak. Just another reason why I'll never go in Lake Parker. Yep. Mm-hmm. I went swimming in there when I was a little kid. I went tubing in there a few times. Yeah, but there's some yeah. serious gators in there. Oh yeah. I, I don't. I why would why the fuck we're in there? We we could have went to a lake that didn't have gators or as many gators. I don't know. Lake Gibson's Makes a good sense. lake. There's still gators in that one, but it's shallow. Oh, that's probably why. Yeah. Lake Parker's even shallower. Like it's only oh, yeah? like six foot deep. Yeah, you can almost walk all the way across it. Damn. Yeah. Seriously, like it's not a deep lake. Oh, yeah. Lake Gibson, Lake, Lake Gibson's deeper. It's got a big hole um, that's like forty foot deep over in like the northwest corner of it. Used to fish it all the time. Yeah, I know a lot of Lake Gibson. It takes you a while to get your boat out there before you can actually scoot around. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah, it's it's, it's shallow there in the channel to get off the boat ramp, but once you kind of get out of the mouth of it, it gets deep. Nice. Get out of the mouth. It's Twenty thirty feet. Used to sit out there and 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 catfish at night right outside the. Uh, Boat ramp is like 20, 30 feet deep there. Well, Last time I went fishing, I went to Lake Gibson and tried to catch catfish with hot dogs. Didn't get a single bite. You got there with hot yeah, dogs. dog food. Dog yeah, food little hot dogs. Yeah, yeah, you got to get out there with some chicken liver, some dog food, cat food. Maybe <laughs> you should have tried a corn dog. Hey, I know <laughs> I every time. I was swimming along there and a corn dog popped up right in front of me. <laughs> I was like, yee, doggy, I'm going to get that corn dog. Dive into the water. <laughs> I know almost every time I've been catfishing, though, there's always been gators. So if there's gators around, you know your shit's stinking. <laughs> <laughs> and the catfish, they, they like it. They like that. So if the gators are around, you know some catfish are going to be there. Let's go noodling. I ain't going noodling if there's gators. <laughs> not not in there. Especially at night. Mm-hmm. There was somebody that was just recently bit. Um, some homeless again. lady was, yeah. yeah. Some homeless lady was freaking uh, bathing at 1 o'clock in the morning up in Citrus County in some lake. And she got bit by a gator. That's brilliant. She deserved it. Yeah, that's what they pretty much said. Like, yeah, you don't go in the water at one o'clock in the morning. That's when gators are active. Yep. You can you can pull some stuff off during the day because most of the time they're not as active. But at night, definitely not a good idea. <laughs> definitely not a good idea. Especially because you can't see them unless you got flashlights nope. or something to see their eyes. That's about it. <laughs> so she's bathing that late. 
it thing must smell like fish, and the gator thought it was a big, nasty, smelly fish. <laughs> it stank. It stank. Thought, I told you. It, they were attracted to the stank. <laughs> gator was going after some of that stinky tuna. <laughs> We got seafood, boys. Raw fish just dumped in the lake. Someone's chumming the waters. <laughs> uh, there is a guy's uh, finger bit off at a golf course. Can you guess what it was from? A gator? Nope. At a golf course? Yep, it was at a uh, golf course. It was a, a snapping turtle? Nope. Uh, an aggressive nope. beaver? Nope. It was that fucking groundhog on uh, that movie where he pops up out of the damn hole. Caddyshack. Caddyshack. Nope. Any other guesses? Um, his golf partner. I don't know if it was a partner, but it was another man. Oh, but say he cut somebody oh. off in the buffet line at the uh, <laughs> at the golf or the country club, and they bit his fucking <laughs> finger off. I guess they got an argument over their golf match and well. got in a fight, and the guy bit his finger off. Crazy oh, shit. ass shit. Yeah. Dude, I'm gonna do that shit. You don't fuck with me on the October 19th or the 20th when we go golfing. Oh yeah, we're gonna go golfing for. Uh, John's bachelor party weekend or whatever. I don't know if he knows about it yet. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't listen anyway. You don't listen. <laughs> uh, spoiler. Oops. Not only spoiler alert. Uh, uh, delete. <laughs> edit that. Cut that out. Cut that out. Uh, 31 Ross, minutes in, we got to delete that audio. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're going to snip that out. Well, Not only did he just learn about it, but I did too. I got to go polish the old clubs up. <laughs> Yeah. Go polish that non iron. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta buy a new golf bag. I got a golf bag. It's like all messed up. Is it? A, isn't it a rule though that you have to have your own set? Or your no, own? you can rent some at the. No, but I'm saying like I have to rent a. Cl- I couldn't say I'm using yours. Oh no, they don't care. Dude, when, you, when you pay and check in, they don't ask if you have clubs. Oh, okay, so can I borrow? Hey, get... Don't break them. You break them, you buy them. I'll, I'll buy whatever I break. <laughs> I've broken what, some clubs you... though. <laughs> He, he will break your club. <laughs> Guess he broke Micah's clubs. <laughs> Dude, I hit a ball so hard, the driver went farther than the ball. No, he hit the ground so hard. The freaking head of the club went further than the ball did. Wow. the driving range. And yeah, so Johnny, I went you, out you there. got the rent clubs. <laughs> I went out there to go get it, and people were still hitting it. <laughs> you can't fix it either. Once it's broken, it's broken. Yeah, I fucked it up. Oh, you could use that uh, flex seal. <laughs> but the funny part about that flex was... Tape. Yeah, flex tape. <laughs> you know why I was borrowing his? Because you broke somebody else's? I just broke mine. <laughs> <laughs> I just broke mine. He's like, yeah, man, you can use mine. <laughs> so J- John can't tee off. He just has to play from the, the I'm good with longest, that. Yeah, longest that, ball. The, the, the irons are good, man. <laughs> if I just tee off with an iron, I'll be fine. The drivers fuck me over. <laughs> yeah, I'm like... I get my first ref check the day of our Steelers game. Steelers Bucks game, so I'm gonna get my check that weekend before, so one I can pay Danielle for the ticket she bought. Yeah. The rest of the money I'm putting away for that three day weekend, because I'm like, we're probably gonna spend a lot of money on alcohol those three days. I'm gonna try not to drink so much, but no guarantees. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't hold my breath. I guess we're Airbnb in over there. The only thing we have planned is the golf. That's all. Yeah, you can go too, Micah. I'm sure it's not. Yeah, it's open for other people. Yeah. It's just. It's like a... It's a whole weekend? Uh, October 19th, yeah. 20th, and 21st. Friday, Saturday, right. Sunday. Where, where is this taking place at? In town? Tampa. Okay. I guess Mickey got a place for us to stay over there for Friday, Saturday night. Fuck it. Let's go. If they got a floor, I got a pillow. I, can, I, uh, I canceled or I blacked out my uh, <laughs> my football game that night, so I'm not going to be reffing that night. Well, I need fun. to make plans accordingly. I'll do it. I'll go ahead and put the time in now, so I don't have to work. And the following weekend's your party. Yeah. <laughs> so it's gonna be like a Perfect long two back weeks. Back. <laughs> it's gonna be rough. Yeah. I have, I have two weekends off. Yes. <laughs> we gotta start having to hydrate now. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go buy while Mike is buying all the pumpkin spice up. I'm gonna be buying all the Pedialyte. <laughs> 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 that Pedialyte shit's gross. Man. I've never had it. I, I, just, I just hear about people. I just hear about people drinking like a whole thing of it before they drink. I would just read, much good, rather man. just chug Gatorade. Yeah. Well, the I found, apple and cherry is pretty good. I have found the older I get, the worse the hangovers get, or That's the worse, drink or the worse my body tolerates them. No fucking lie though. Because before, like, I got wake up with a fucking bad hangover, and an hour or two later, after popping like eight ibuprofens, done. 
now a fucking hangover will last all day. Like, say we get fucked up on a Friday or Saturday night. Sunday morning or Sunday all day, I'm fucking hungover. I feel like shit. And I feel that shit into Monday. I'm still drained. I just can't do it anymore, even though I love it. I love getting fucked up. I hate the next day. We went That's why I switched to low-carb beer because it has hardly any alcohol in it, so you're drinking mostly water. Seems to help. Like when we had your uh, the thing at your house a few weeks ago. That you should have been hurt. Yeah, that next morning, I was. <laughs> that next day, I'm like, oh, my God. And I had to go. I had to run into work. I think is uh yeah. You did, I got yeah. a call. So seven o'clock in the morning, I get a call, and I wake up. My open my eyes, and my fucking head is like boom, 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 boom. That shit. I'm like, this is bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's why. That's one of the reasons why I don't drink a whole lot anymore because the hangovers. Like you said, you're getting older, and you're almost guaranteed to have a hangover after you drink. And now that I have a little one that wakes up and she's screaming and she's all loud, and so you can't do that. Anymore. You could you, you can ignore her every once in a while. No, dude, you can't. <laughs> like, you know how bad your hangovers are sometimes. Like, there, you're, there's no getting around that. Like, and that's the last thing you want to do is have a hangover with a, a screaming a kid. And, like, well, it didn't help that at Micah's house I drank 24 Bush Lights, and I'd say at least half of them had uh, vodka in them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> See, and whenever I drink vodka, I normally don't have a hangover. Uh, what was it? Friday night, we went out with John and Claire to dinner, and then we went for some drinks right after, and. I haven't had whiskey in a long time, but I had a couple Crown and Cokes or whiskey and Cokes. Dude, worst freaking headache the next day. And I could, that lasted almost all day. I love whiskey, but whiskey don't love me. Because the next day, it goes through you like a cleanser. Yeah, I'm still dealing with <laughs> Whatever's still dealing in with whiskey, it. oh my God. Still dealing Worse with Worse than beer. Vodka is where it's at. Deep Eddies or Tito's. I just stick to beer. Beer's cheaper. Beer. Yeah, beer, but. I'm going to mix it up and throw some vodka in there. So the Deep Eddies ain't bad because it's only like 17 bucks for the bottle. And it even says on the back, mix with water to make like lemonade. And that's how I've been doing it. So the water, you're drinking water while you're drinking liquor. You're hydrating. Yeah. And it kinda, yeah, it kind of, it, it seems to help a lot. Well, yeah. My bad, not... we are getting old. Yeah, we're, we're thinking about how we're, how we're going to get how messed I, up. How am I going to hydrate? <laughs> I'm not trying to wake up with a hangover, so let me figure out how I can drink and have fun without. So I used to never dying. wake up with a hangover. I know. I used to drink every single day, and I'm yeah. just like, oh. Whenever well, we used to go to docks every Friday and Saturday night. Yeah. I used to be fine the next day. Shit, when we went camping, I got fucked up on Friday, and that ruined my whole weekend. I was hungover <laughs> for the next two days. <laughs> yeah, and you're trying. You you know things that to do to get over a hangover, and it's none of it helps. No. None of it helps. It's just like, I'm still dying. But I can't I'm help it. <laughs> I even tried John's remedy that one morning. He bought me a damn burrito from Taco Bell. Yeah, but. Yeah, but yeah that's going to help my hangover. It's going to make you throw oh, yeah. <laughs> it helped. It would have helped the hangover, but it wouldn't have helped your bubble guts that you had. <laughs> oh, yeah. Christ. Yeah, we are getting pretty old. Y'all, y'all are catching up with me. <laughs> yeah. Ross is the. He's kind of the trendsetter. We get to see all the bullshit he goes through, and we're just a couple of years behind, so we're kind of more prepared. I thought he's, you were he's kind I thought of you the, me a transgender. I'm like, what? No. <laughs> Ross is that transgender. Ross. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Ross is the age pioneer for me and you, Johnny. Yep. I'm like the, I'm like the middle kid. Yep. Ross is the oldest, and John's the youngest. So I think my favorite. birthday's like a couple of days after yours. I was going to say, but... if it's any indication, we're going to be fucking grumpy as fuck, Mike. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> I remember when I used to have hair. <laughs> uh, I was like 12. Yeah. <laughs> I, did, I did see something. Um, uh, there was something about women earlier, and it was like women are either, they're bi, but they're either bipolar or they're bisexual. <laughs> oh, either, I'm bisexual. either or. <laughs> I'm bisexual. If I can't get it for free, I'll buy it. <laughs> I was about to say, what? <laughs> Breaking news. Hey, you want to, I just made, I don't know if this is already a joke or not, but I just made this one up this morning because I was just thinking about random shit. And what do you <laughs> call it when a stupid person is holding you up? What? Delay. <laughs> <laughs> You get it like duh, lay, like because they're they're stupid, and like duh. 
Oh, I... <laughs> fail. That's my own joke. I just made that up this morning. We can tell. I know. <laughs> it's a duh. Stupid as fuck. Duh. You know what's also stupid though is I seen an article where there's a millennial couple, and I guess you can't wear their biking. What? A millennial what? couple. They quit their jobs and they went to bike around the world. But guess where their biking trip ended? Like three miles uh, up the road once they realized biking sucks. No, in an probably ISIS, where probably where the pedal fell off. They decided they're gonna ride in an ISIS. The seat territory. fell off. <laughs> they went to an ISIS, ISIS territory. territory. Yeah. Oh, good for them. I'm glad they. They, they decided they're gonna they're gonna bike to prove humans are kind, and they got killed. Yeah, they don't watch the fucking news. <laughs> Dumb as fuck. Like, you bike I, around the Middle East. <laughs> yeah, they wanted to basically claim humans are kind, blah, 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 blah. They tried to ride through, and I want to say that they were rammed with a car. And basically... <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't mean to laugh. <laughs> but, I mean... It's dumb. Yeah, like, why would you do that? Like, you know they're freaking terrorists. Like, they don't, they don't like you. That Yeah, so anyways, they died. These no. people are also probably freaking suffering from post-Trump anxiety or whatever the hell that shit is. Trump anxiety. <laughs> and they just came from a fucking Antifa or PETA fucking protest. Yeah. Dumb Good. as fuck. Like, so, they, yeah, they, they quit their jobs to go ride around the world, and then they wanted to go ride through an ISIS territory. To For once, I support ISIS in that situation. <laughs> I don't support it. I don't support ISIS, but I support their actions <laughs> there. <laughs> These people are dumb. They didn't know. They didn't know what they were doing. But for that three seconds or thirteen minutes that they took them people hostage or killed them, whatever, good for them. Now they can fuck off. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah, I don't. I thought those people were fucking dumb as shit. Yes. Cards Against Humanity is uh, hiring people to write new cards. Good. Are they That's still? Are they, are they selling that? Uh, section of the border wall that they bought so Trump can't put the wall up? Are they selling that portion of the wall to pay for these people's salaries to make these cards? I I don't know that. I doubt it. I was, yeah. yeah. They said this job pays 40 an hour, though. God damn. Sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> After I'm done cleaning up shit in San Francisco, I can do that. I'm, no, wait, you can do this from home. Yeah. You can do this from home. It says 40 We made an our hour. own. Yeah, we did make our own. <laughs> ours, are, ours are way better than their stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but basically, there's 40 an hour to write poop jokes as needed, which... That was just a, a joke, I guess. Um, they want you to send your 15 best white cards and... F- well, they got to be white. Because of the, the, the white cards. And your five best black cards by August 31st. That sounds a little racially tension. Like, I don't know if that's a good idea. I'd rather send brown cards. They imp- they encourage people uh, particular of color, immigrants, and members of LGBTQ community to apply. Well, and, I guess I'm out. And it says, oh, and they're also looking for hot single dads. So I'm assuming a woman wrote this. Guess I'm out. <laughs> I don't see guys writing. Well, I guess if they're part of the LGB, whatever, TQ. We need a minority and gay single dads to write cards. That's what they're asking for. That's what I got out of that. But they want funny. I mean, I could be single quick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh, man, so dumb. <laughs> There's a sex uh, toy vending machine. Did you guys see about this? What? Yeah. Uh, um, another bar stool. In Publix? No. <laughs> that will probably <laughs> never happen. Don't take your butt plug curbside, curbside <laughs> okay, delivery yeah. for your butt plug. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. That's probably never going to happen. Here, sir. Here's your extra large butt plug. <laughs> I want to say it was another bar stool post where a Chinese man was trying to get something out of a sex toy vending machine and got his finger trapped in there. The big black dildo just wouldn't fit through that little <laughs> flap on the bottom. I can't get it out. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> it's too I big. I want my Tallywhacker 3000. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the Fist of Fury will not make it through that little fucking opening where you got to pull it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just thought we were time traveling for a second because I screenshotted this and it says 5.58 a.m. Oh and I'm God. like, how do we go back in time? I thought we started at 10. <laughs> oh, my God. Dumb as fuck. Uh, yeah, Amir, uh, Amiri King. Emery King. <laughs> he had a post about uh, California is pushing legislation to limit kids' beverage options to, in restaurants to only milk or water. That's terrible. So they're, take, they're taking away the straws. <laughs> now they can only have milk or water. 
mean, there's other healthy options besides milk or water. There's apple juice. These people are losing their damn minds. Diet Coke. <laughs> losing their minds. Fuck California. Well, speaking of uh, being soft, you see uh, that Nabisco is releasing the zoo animals. Yeah, I saw that. It's fucking yeah. bullshit. Exactly. The, the goddamn PETA and the goddamn millennials once again win. Bunch of sensitive sallies. Yeah, apparently, uh, over well over a hundred years on the animal cracker boxes, the Barnum's animals, they always appeared like behind cages. Now they are cage-free lions and cage-free uh, llamas that you're eating. 116 years. Yeah. That's terrible. Them fucking cookies, them cookies better be more tender now. Yeah. <laughs> they've, been working, they've been working on that for a while because they, it was all about the Ringling Brothers and stuff like that. And they got them shut down, and now they got these animals uncaged, and now these animals could so what, really harm these children that are opening these boxes. <laughs> Have you seen that fucking lion? <laughs> they're not tamed anymore. No. They're, they're like legit threat no, to your there's kids. There's a fucking gorilla on there. And you know these kids are gluten sensitive so they're going to stop eating these things yeah, anyway. These kids are going to grow up to be pussies too. Yeah. Now they're going to have to release all the animals from the zoo and just let them roam the streets. Yep. 1902, man. They've 1902. You know, that's they've been around forever. And they're still good cookies, too. Yeah, we get them just because, like, it's kind of like caged. Well, yeah, not anymore. How about we start our How about we start our own animal crackers, but we put prisoners on the front and call them prison crackers. <laughs> you got any more prison cookies? About, <laughs> and, I, and, dare, and dare anybody to bitch about the bars on the front of them. Oh, man. That's, that's crazy. I don't think those are going to sell very well. Get our slow, it's simple branding. Get your prison wallet out and get your prison cookies. <laughs> I'm not taking any money out. I'm not taking any donations into my prison wallet. I know it's not on our uh, <laughs> on our list this week, but did y'all see, since we're talking about dangerous, uncaged animals, did y'all see the crocodile here in Florida that was spotted swimming on a pool float on a noodle? Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He was like on like a little raft. Wasn't no, he? he was on a little noodle. Yeah, uh, yeah. There, but later on uh, this week, in Homosassa, there was a gator spotted on a on a um, like a log. bamboo raft that, with resting its head on a resting his head on a turtle. But no, uh, a Florida crocodile was spotted floating in a fucking lake or a river on a fucking pool noodle. <laughs> like that shit's funny as shit. It, and he was he was yeah, using yeah. it just as we would use it. Yeah. Yeah, right underneath it, like it was waist, like if they had yeah. a waist. Like, yeah, I, wanna, where it'd be. I yeah. wanna say the one that was on the bamboo raft uh, was resting its head on like a turtle. Yeah, a giant turtle. Yeah, yep. just hanging out. Did you already say that? Yeah, I did. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, it's great. It's only 11, like 11 o'clock in the morning now. What time is your draft? <sighs> one. I'm gonna be feeling great before I get there. If there's one person I should draft, who would you want me to draft? Tom Brady. Next. Um, I don't know. I ain't done a lot of research this year, but Antonio Brown's always a killer. So. That one, but there, this is an auction draft, so. Roberto yeah. Aguayo. Uh, yeah. uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta get you gotta get value for. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, and it's people can outbid you. So I don't want to like some. I think you get like a hundred dollar budget, and yeah. Antonio Brown sometimes goes for fifty, sixty bucks, and then you have yeah. to figure out how to make the rest of your team work. So if he's available, I'll try to get him. And same thing with Tom Brady. I feel like I can get Tom Brady pretty cheap though. A lot of leagues, depending on how your leagues are, a lot of people get quarterbacks later. This one's one of the, one of those, but a lot of times I, I like to throw quarterbacks and other players out there early. Because if you get, get a good quarterback, they'll get you points. And a lot Dude, of times I throw players is... out I don't even want. Like, I'll just throw them out there just to get people bid up on those so that way my players are available later. There's a lot of strategy into it. But you don't get this the chance This should be a no-brainer for you, Johnny. What? <laughs> your boy Jameis is going to be cheap. He's your boy. Oh. <laughs> and I can get him probably like in eight or nine rounds. Yeah, because nobody wants him. Well, and he's yeah. suspended for the first three oh, And he's not a starter. Start. He's not a starter. He's, he may be a second quarterback on someone's team. Jameis is like, me and him are tight, dude. Like, we just played Madden together the other day. When you draft him on the draft and they cut to the Take satellite video of him, they better have him in his living room with his family drinking out of a born stupid koozie. I hope so. He still pisses off his back porch. <laughs> he FaceTimed it. What? I'm just kidding. <laughs> 
<laughs> you seen the Hard Knocks where they're in his uh, hometown now, like Alabama or whatever? Yeah. And he's like, oh, this I remember that. He's all time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah he's I haven't watched this year yet. Dude, he's hilarious. I, supposedly the hard knocks for the Browns is pretty entertaining. Apparently they're a fucking mess. Oh. They're everything you would expect out of the fucking Browns. Exactly. And they just brought in Tyrod Taylor, and he just had like a wrist injury or whatever in the preseason game. He hurt his hand, and they kept him in the game. Why? It's a freaking preseason, yeah. dumbass. That's why you lose. That's why you lose. Just right like there. Cam Newton going for extra yards the other night versus the Patriots, and he dove over a defender and landed straight on the top of his head. They're like, he wouldn't dive for a fumble in the Super Bowl, but yeah. in a preseason game, he's, he's diving, to, yeah. he's somersaulting for extra yards. You know, I think part of that is the season's so long, you're not diving at the end of the season. You're fucking no. hurting. You're, you don't well, want they to, said, <laughs> they like, said on hard knocks, season. like the coach there looks like a fucking idiot. Like he has no idea. He's like, he's letting the uh, fucking asylum run the show. And then they had their fat ass uh, offensive lineman coach That's saying, the one thing uh, I've seen. saying like, uh, stretching, you don't need a stretch, stretching's overrated, blah, blah, blah. Like, coming from the most unathletic person in the facility. Yeah. This 500 pound offensive <laughs> line coach. <laughs> it's kind of important, though. And I guess one thing that they were knocking the coach on is like, it was like the first, second episode, him and Tyrod Taylor were talking about something, how they're trying to change the culture, this and that. And it's like, Tyrod was like, well, what you need to do is. We should install cameras, like high cameras, and practice this and that so we can watch everybody, people walking around. And I guess they cut to a scene showing the next day of them installing cameras throughout the facility to catch people walking around the practice field, this and that. You mean it's, t- it's taking your players to tell you to do yeah. this shit for it to fucking happen? Yeah. It's all about hustling in football. You, yep. If you're going to walk on the field, no, it's not going to happen. You run onto the field. You yep. run off the field. From plays – like I, there's been a couple preseason games and I'm like – no wonder why these fuckers aren't making the team. They all right. So if once you once the offensive lineman lets you go, and they stop pursuing the ball, no, you fucking chase the ball yeah. until he's down or they blow the whistle. Like I see guys just jogging all. Over. I'm like that. You don't. You, that's not gonna help you make a team. Nope. But I don't. What's Mike any, doing over there? I don't know. He lost interest in football. <laughs> <laughs> no, my phone was dying. I had to plug in the phone charger. Ah. But yeah. Fucking football talk again. Got him, got him lost. It's that time of year, though. College ball next yeah. week. Uh, it started last night. I saw uh, New Mexico State and somebody else was playing on ESPN, and ESPN2 had a game. It was like uh, low teams. like. Yeah. Weber had their right. first so, uh, season opener la- uh, Saturday. Yesterday, yeah. they, they beat some team like 40-something to 14 or something. Did high school ball start back there? And yep. I am disclosed location. It started back last week. Yeah, last week was like the preseason games, and then this week was the first game of the year, the first week one. Yeah, we invited Ross to go drinking, but he was reffing. Yeah, I said, we don't do shit for a fucking month. And then, <laughs> then as soon as my football season starts, hey, we're all drinking tonight. I'm like, where was this the last three weeks? <laughs> yeah. And then it's downpouring, and then I'm like, oh, Ross probably has a rain delay. Let me text him real quick. Well, I was hoping they would cancel <laughs> that shit, but they didn't. Yep, no. I was like, if he's anywhere near where I'm at right now, there's no way he's reffing. I was up at Lakeland. <laughs> yep, and he wasn't reffing. But it calmed down a bit. We started an hour late. Yeah, it calmed down. It was bad. Just good times. Yep. Oh, shit. I've been hills this week. I kind of like this morning stuff. I'm not as tired. Well, I mean, I was pretty tired until I drank like 10 cups of coffee. Was that my coffee going? I don't know. Something's going off. Yeah, it was probably my coffee pot going off. I drank a lot of coffee. Pretty lit. Coffee and beer. Coffee and beer. The good thing about doing it early is I don't have to go to bed at 11 o'clock at night, 11.30 at night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the only thing that sucks about doing it during the week. Yeah. During the week, though, I, like sometimes, I mean, I enjoy doing it, but sometimes you get off work and you're you're tired. You don't yeah. know if you, like, and then... About five or six beers later, I'm I'm lit and I'm ready to go. But <laughs> I mean, I haven't even started the podcast yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then I'm ready to die down after. There's been a couple of times where I'm doing the head bob during the the show. Or you, you or you go in the bathroom and puke. <laughs> yeah, or uh, I've, uh, uh, I don't yeah. know if I've done that. You I have. I remember uh, doing live updates uh, from the I outside. I thought of- I was going to do it and I didn't do it. I pissed. <laughs> I did throw up after the show, but I don't think I throw up during the show. <laughs> I thought about doing the chuggler today, but I was like, there's no way. There's no way I'm going to make it to the draft if I do that. Yeah, I'm going to get two players on the draft and I'll be out of money. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you, the, the rule is you have to at least allocate $1 for each pick. So I can't just I can't max out and then only have two players after they have at least a dollar for each slot. 
which to me that this draft is pretty entertaining, but it just takes a while and everybody has to be there. They're in in my league, that's never going to happen because yeah. there's people that live other places. There's people and, don't care. And people don't care. <laughs> my own dad's right there at the draft and he's auto picking <laughs> like a couple years ago. <laughs> oh, I don't, know how to, yeah. I don't know how to get in. I'm like, dude, forgot password. Like, Jesus Christ. Like, Bitch, hit, hit the button, enter draft, you're in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't log in. I'm like, oh my God. He's right fucking here and we can't even get him in. We're at your house. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah for real. I'm like, God. He just wants that auto pick because he, he, he knows he sucks. He doesn't know he doesn't know all the players. He knows his teams and that and now he doesn't watch as much as he used to because of all. He's the, one of those people. Yeah, the flag stuff. If they're new and I ain't watching. If they're not standard, I'm not watching. He does watch, but he doesn't watch as much. My thing is, people who say that if they kneel, if they don't stand, I don't watch. Those are all people using that shit as an excuse not to wa- not to watch their shitty ass fucking football team. If you're a fan of a good football team, I don't give a shit if they're fucking stabbing people. I don't He's care if Aaron Hernandez <laughs> is coming back. No, but he, he likes the Patriots. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, because he likes a good team. He likes a good team. He watches them. But he doesn't watch if, anything else. I was gonna say if if they were like they were barely winning, like yeah. they were the Browns, he wouldn't be watching. No, he wouldn't watch at all. Just using it as an well, excuse not to watch your shitty ass team. He does watch the Steelers because I'm always over there because I don't have any NFL Sunday ticket or anything. You don't need so, it. Well, besides, yeah, I did, well, it's a good reason to go. Hang I don't out have my dad an too. NFL Sunday ticket either. I'm forcing my dad to watch football, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing it. That's real love. When your dad doesn't want to watch football, you go to his house and watch football. <laughs> I think I got the Sunday ticket this year. I think it come free yeah, first with my year free. TV yeah. subscription. Yeah. So after this year, I got to call and cancel that shit. Or they're going to start charging me like 100 bucks for They'll it. They'll charge you 50 bucks a month for six months, I think. Yeah. Walk off. Yep. I better call them. Yeah, I would Go ahead like and cancel to it that. for this year. But you haven't even watched it yet. Go ahead and cancel it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just, just make sure you don't auto renew it. <laughs> Say, I can't afford to get into that damn six month contract. So are you going to be able to watch any of it? Yeah. I get regular TV. No, I'm saying, but you, you're going to cancel NFL Network? They'll can't, he'll, when he calls them, they'll they'll set it up so it cancels after okay. the season. Yeah. yeah. Make sure you they give you a, a one-year free deal. Yeah. But, like, if you go one year and one day, then it locks you in for the next year and you're responsible for paying yeah. for it. Actually, if you don't cancel it before the first game of the next season, you'll start paying for yeah. it. Yeah. Got you. You got to yep. – yeah, you got to make sure because they, they tell you it's like you get it for free, and then the fine print it auto renews unless you cancel it. I know a guy at yep. work that whenever it gets to that that end date, he'll basically renew his Directv. He wants to he'll he'll call him and say I don't agree with you up in my price blah blah blah, and they'll give him like new um, sign up Emotions. or whatever. So he gets the yeah. NFL Network again because he basically threatens to leave and because they they obviously try to up your price. Or yeah, whatever. after Directv is after two years, I think it goes up like thirty bucks or something like that. So 20, 30 bucks a month. He, he got the he one year he got it for free. The next year he bought it. They go to up his price. He basically tries to threaten to cancel. They say they give him the new person discount and then he got the Directv for free again. So he he has to pay every other year. He said, but so that's cool. Got to work the system, man. It. Fuck the system. <laughs> fuck the, fuck the system. <laughs> Any plans this week? Yeah, flying home, getting out of Middle America, heading back to place of my uh, South America, place of my youth. <laughs> <laughs> South, South, South America, yeah. Southern America, <laughs> oh, South America. It's close. <laughs> going, going somewhere tropical. Somewhere where it rains a lot. Where it rains every goddamn day. Floods, actually. At night, my backyard is flooded. And then in the morning when I wake up, the water's gone. That's why I'm probably going to build my grass when I leave here before it floods again today. I was going to, but then I got a fantasy draft. And I don't think I'll be able to pull that off. You're moving. I wouldn't mow your grass until after you leave. I would mow my grass just right before they come in. Oh, fuck. It's not your grass anymore. I just want to be nice. Oh, fuck being nice. Being nice isn't... uh, Save you money or benefit you at all. I'm a nice guy. <laughs> That's the last thing I want to do is when I move in, I have to cut my grass right away. I'm just being a nice guy. So you have enough shit, dude. Gotta move we'll, we'll see. We'll see how nice we are because cause the home inspection found a few issues and then 
we'll see how nice they are, and then I'll decide how nice I am. I might give them a jungle to mow. I would. Well, I'm not go planning on it, but if they're fucking assholes, then I'll be an asshole. I don't know. You never know. I could change my mind. I would play nice until you had the the, the money in hand. That's what I was, I'm, I am. Oh. I am nice. Danielle's the one that's the Nazi. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> she is, though, man. Dude, she's brutal. I have to talk her down a lot. I'm like, come on now. You, you can't talk to people like that. You got to be nice. You're, I'm you're, especially, especially if you're gonna you're gonna need something or you you're trying to negotiate with them, you can't be an asshole. Like whenever you fix the garage door, I told John I was like I would have paid the minimum to get that door operational, and then that's what that, we that's exactly what we did though. Like it's up to them to fix that shit. We, but it wouldn't have passed inspection if we wouldn't have fixed it though. As long as it goes up and down, that's all that matters. <laughs> yeah. But we did we did get it fixed, so it's not a big deal. But if we, we would have left it and I would have been manually using it, it would have failed and it would have been one of the other items we would have had to fix. But we already fixed it. Oh, the motor's it. not a requirement. They would have listed it, though. He had action items, like, and that would have probably been an action item. And that would have probably been something they could have used against us for negotiations. I don't know. There's really not... Everything that I've seen on the report seems seems minor. And like I said, that roof has more than five plus six years on it, so... There is a few things that sounds need to like fix. they got time to get their ducks in a row to get a new roof after they move in. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. And it's the loan requirements that would meet that, so it's not a big deal. Danielle just freaks out. <sighs> Look at that yawn. Yeah. Two yawns at the same time simultaneously. <laughs> Y'all in sync? In sync. So should we wrap no, this up? That gate boy, man. Should we wrap this up so you can get to your draft? Yeah. And Mike could actually get go back and get some sleep. I'm going to the workout facility. I'm here, see? Uh, oh, I see I'm just waiting here. to go in. Yeah, it was just oh. right. They can't see. Oh, there it is. And it looks kind of like a barn. Yeah. With multiple doors or, or those windows. Windows. Those look like windows. windows. Yeah. yeah. Any hot chicks in there? Yeah, the one you showed us uh, uh, about an hour ago. <laughs> <laughs> she was. Uh, there's a couple decent ones, but talent pool's definitely a lot smaller here. That's not Florida, huh? Yeah, it said you can go here and like on a busy day, there's like 15 people in the whole gym. That's crazy. That'd be nice here. Yep. <laughs> oh, I know. Like, that's a slow day if you ever get that at home. 15 people. The beauty at Planet Fitness, though, is the majority of the people are trying to do treadmill and stuff like that. And but... they don't judge you. True. Yeah, and they don't judge me. Yeah, bullshit. <laughs> Little shit, they're not judging. But yeah, all right. Well, holla at yep. you later. Yep. Thanks everyone for listening. We appreciate it. We'll see Sunday you again next week. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, probably. Yeah, probably. I think so. Same time, same yeah, place. I mean, if Ross is uh, reffing, which he is, I am. Then it'll be Saturday or Sunday morning, depending on what yep. we have going on. Oh yeah, he will be home, so it's depending on your schedule. Yeah. yeah, we could do it on Saturday. Be home, we got or Sunday night. We got or Saturday three, night. Three drafts on Sundays. Oh yeah. yeah. Maybe do it Sunday night or Sunday morning or something. Yeah. We got three drafts that day next week. Alrighty. Yep. See y'all later. Peace out. Later. Gotta take a.